Welcome to section 9.5, Probabilities of Various Combinations. At the end of this section, we should be able to answer these questions. What is the defining characteristic of a combination? What are some key words that indicate combinations? For a given subset of objects from a set, will you have more permutations or combinations? Why is that? How do you calculate combinations of a limited number of objects from a set manually? How do you calculate combinations of a limited number of objects from a set with your calculator? What is the mathematical formula for calculating combinations? What is the mathematical notation for calculating permutations and combinations? Before we get started, let's see what our intuition tells us about combinations and permutations. If I'm given the letters A, B, C, and D, will there be more permutations or combinations of letters taken three at a time? What do you think? The answer here is A, there will be more permutations. Let's take a look at why that's true. If we were to write out all the different combinations of four three-letter words that can be made from the four letters A, B, C, and D, we'd see that there are 24 different combinations. And I've listed them out here in the table. But if you look, a combination would include that entire row at the top, A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, C, A, B, and C, B, A. All of those be, would be considered one combination of the letters A, B, and C. And as, we've seen, as we can see here in the table, there are only four different combinations of the letters A, B, C, and D taken three at a time. A combination is defined as a subset of the elements in a set without regard to the order in which the elements are arranged. For instance, in our example, these two permutations, ABC and ACB, are considered part of the same combination because we define that combination to be a, a situation without regard to the order in which the elements are arranged. In this table, we can see that for every combina combination of three letters, we have six possible permutations. If we take our 24 different permutations and divide it by the number of permutations of any three letters, or three factorial, we end up with the number of combinations. To determine the number of combinations, we take the total number of permutations, in our example that was 24, and divide by the number of permutations of each one combination, which in, a, in our example was 6, and we end up with the total number of combinations, so 4 combinations. The notation we're going to be using to discuss permutations and combinations is this NCR and NPR to represent the number of different combinations of elements taken R at a time or the number of different permutations of elements taken R at a time. In the last section we saw that to calculate the number of permutations we use the calculation N factorial over N minus R factorial. To calculate the number of combinations, we're going to use that permutation calculation and divide once again by the number of permutations of the subset. So n factorial over n minus r factorial, also divided by r factorial. Let's look at an example. In how many ways could you form a committee of three people from a group of seven people? And how do you know a number of combinations is being asked for, not a number of permutations? Okay, well, we are choosing three people out of seven. So our notation would be 7C3. And we know it's a combination because we're forming a committee. A commi in a committee, 
No one person is more important than the other, so it doesn't matter who's chosen first to be on the committee. Now our formula for calculating the number of combinations would be n factorial, so in this case 7 factorial, divided by r factorial, the 3 factorial, and n minus r factorial, or 7 minus 3, or 4 factorial. Notice how the factorials in the denominator add up to the factorial in the numerator. So if we were going to calculate this manually, we'd know that the top is 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 3 times 2 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And we can do some canceling here. The 3 and the 2 and the 4. I can take out 6 more. And I'm left with 7 times 5 or 35 committees. Let's look at another example. If a committee of five is selected at random from a group of six women and three men, find the probability that it will include Eileen and Ben, two of the nine people. Well, first of all, we know we're dealing with combinations because we're working with a committee. Now, since here we're not trying to find the number of possibilities, we're trying to find the probability. We have to remember that probability is defined as the number of events in our outcome divided by the number of events in our sample space. So first of all, let's calculate our sample space. And so to find the number of combinations of five people out of nine, we would be looking for nine C5 as the number of events in our sample space. Now we can find that number manually according to our formula, or we can rely on some technology. With our calculator, we can go into our math menu and go over to probability, and then we'll see that the third option here is NCR. So to calculate 9C5, I start with 9. I work over to probability, Whoop. choose NCR, and type in 5. And I see that there are 126 possible committees that can be formed out of our nine people.